Hi everybody, welcome back to the barn. This is Connie and we are at this angle today because I am going to show you some of the things I sold and I'm also going to show you how I pack them. So let's get started with this. Uh, the first thing I sold was a Craftsman 4 inch angle grinder and it comes in this big huge case. So with something like this, I don't worry about it getting broken because it is made to last and take a, a beating, but this is what it looks like. And then it has an extra one of these included. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to ship this in a poly mailer. It will be fine. I have done it before and it has got there just fine. Let's go ahead and get this packaged. This sold for $35.99. struggle with it these bags I got from Amazon and even though they're strong they just don't want to stay open they want to I don't know I don't know they just I struggle with them all the time trying to keep them open but we got it and I went ahead and bubble wrapped it that's probably not going to last because it was popping bubbles as I was wrapping it but it will be fine this is going to Neil in Nevada so thank you for that. The next thing we are going to pack up are these three vintage Sheffield England House of Prill three-piece set. Really, really pretty. I picked these up at a yard sale, I think, for a couple bucks. I just thought they were pretty. They caught my eye. And I sold these for $17. So let's go ahead and pack these up. Was an easy pack and that is going to mary and tennessee thank you mary next up we have this butter soft scrub top it is like autumn style i will actually put a picture up here for you so you can see what it looks like i had this listed on poshmark and ebay and it sold on ebay for 12 dollars 99 this is another easy pack it's just going to be thrown in a poly mailer and on its way 
let's do this one. Nothing beats clothing when it comes to packing, that's for sure. Those are so easy. I always put my clothing in poly mailer. That scrub top is going to Joy in Nevada. So thank you very much, Joy. Okay, last but not least on eBay, I sold this EK Success Scroll Paper Punch. This sold for $6.49. I had found a ton of these at our local thrift store in bottom up and this was the last one i think i had so all my punches are gone now sometimes if you find the right ones you can make good money off these but this one i sold for six dollars and 49 cents but i probably only paid 50 cents for it so let's go ahead and pack this up paper punch is going to New Jersey to someone with the letter T at the beginning of their name. That's all it says. So thank you for that. All right, we are over to Poshmark now. Two sales on Poshmark and I sold this Umgi top. It's just called a women's medium floral baby doll chic bohemian top and it was $12 on Poshmark. So this is just going to go into a poly mailer. And then this other one I sold is also an umgi. And this is a long, extra large, tight knit, open front cardigan sweater. This sold for $16. This will go into a poly mailer as well. So two more easy packs. Didn't have anything really tough today, except for the tools. And those always give me a hard time. So let's go ahead and pack these up. This is going to Kristen in Maryland. So thank you, Kristen. <laughs> Juanita in Texas. So that is all the orders I am packing up today. I have a few things that I would like to show you. Okay, I hope you all enjoyed the packing part of the video. Um, that was five orders going out. So not bad, not horrible, but not the best yet. But we are not even in the fourth quarter yet. So I'm looking forward to that. So I, we went to a couple of garage sales and we picked up a couple of things, but I just wanted to kind of show you what we got. Let me turn you around. You guys, check her out. Isn't she beautiful? I about wrecked my car when I seen this. My husband's like, watch that car over there. I'm like, what car? Because my eyeballs were affixed to her. Now, she is not for sale. She is the new mascot in my barn. But I need a name. So that is where you guys come in. Comment down below what you would name her. 
Now, when I got her, she had pink roses in her skirt, but I changed her out for fall. And I also decorated my fireplace up there. But I literally almost wrecked my car when I seen her. The lady had made her. Now, I had seen these kind of um, on this style, sort of like in the stores at Christmas time, and I have been admiring them for as long as I've seen them. And I always wanted one, and I was tempted to try to make it myself, but I had no clue on even how to begin. And when I seen this thing, I was like, are you kidding me? My husband bought it for me. So I was like, this is like, I'm speechless. I don't even know what to say. I just, I am in love with it. And I'm going to decorate her out for each of the holidays. But I need a name. So please let me know down below what you would name her. And she the lady literally made this all by herself I'm not exactly sure i haven't had a chance to examine it but i just absolutely love her and yeah i had to show you guys that because that was the best find this weekend the best all right so make sure Give me some ideas down below what you would name her. Okay, let's move on to other things I found to actually sell. So, I picked this guy up. And I had bought some other items along with it. So, the lady ended up giving him to me for free. So, I didn't pay anything for him. And he's in excellent condition. Um, he is actually the only nutcracker I have found this year. So, at least I have one. And then, same yard sale, I picked up this Scentsy. And it is crimson. And then, a different yard sale, picked up this Halloween costume for dogs. And it's a pizza hasn't been used at all and then i picked up this lily pulitzer dress still with tags and i did pay ten dollars for it it is a size two so it's very very tiny um i was a little skeptical of it but I went ahead and picked it up anyways because it's Lily Pulitzer. And I know there are some size 2 girls out there. So this will be listed on Poshmark. And the other piece of clothing I got is this Ted Baker dress. I know it's not coming across very well on the black background. But this isn't a big size either. This was, where are you? Get my, get my fingers to work. This is a size two as well. So I really thought that was pretty. So that is pretty much all we picked up as far as selling goes. It was more of a weekend. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw my last video that I put out, but I had made a big, huge buy. And um, these were just little extras that we went around and picked up. But my main buy was that big, huge buy that I already put a video out on. So if you didn't see that, I'll link it down below so you guys can watch that and see what I picked up. But I picked up a couple of things, uh, personal things for my grandkids and just a few things for my myself and my husband so but my favorite is this one right here absolutely love her so all right guys i think that is all i have for you today 
I have been listing like crazy today and my back is killing me. <laughs> I wanted to make this video for you guys. So um, make sure that you comment down below what you think I should name her. And uh, I'll let you know in my next video what I decided. So make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit your notification bells. And I'll see you next time. Bye.